that's fishing and not catching, right? Well, I think some of you guys tell me that just to try to make me feel better, but it sucks. Well, brought a little snack along. It's called Applewood Barbecue Mushroom Jerky. I don't know, this just isn't pleasant at all. Basically just like a get out e-bike ride, get some nature, try to clear your head therapy session. Sometimes you gotta get out and try to clear your head. Well, howdy doody guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in another episode. Wow, what the was that? Even I don't know. Anyway, we got the pack packed down. I said that backwards. Bike packed down. Pack packed up. Uh, we escaped a little bit of city noise here, but we're probably going to head back into it. The idea here is to go do a little camping fishing underneath this little train bridge. I don't know if it's going to work out, but we never know. We always just wing it around here. But anyway keep on trucking we got about four or five miles to keep going till we get there we'll sit back relax have a good old time spit a few rhymes maybe tequila without a little bit of lime whatever let's go have a good time made it to this little train bridge i have never camped out here never fished here never been here so that's the last time showing you guys we stopped like right here but um let's see if it's even worth it probably get kicked out by union pacific or something but there's no signs that say no trespassing or anything so we'll see what happens hopefully we don't get a flat tire kind of sending it there is a little creek that leads right to the main river oh there's a thorn bush right here so let's hey hey that is nothing fancy of a creek at all and it is really low we are next to the interstate so that kind of sucks all right now we'll set the bike there for now take a peek down here Fish do come up this freaking river here, and there is a dam down yonder that everybody goes and fishes. So, I don't know. My thought was, we come down here, we don't really have a real close shot to the water. Kind of up high. But maybe, just maybe, I brought some corn and some chicken liver. I don't know what I'm doing. If you watch any of my fishing videos, you might as well turn away now we don't catch much but sometimes we do but it's always nice to get out i mean this water is kind of low it looks like it went down quite a bit and it is littered with a bunch of crap there's a pipe there there's a pipe over there um but the cool thing is we can at least get somewhat close to the water so that was my goal i guess uh get close to the water throw and see what happens and then again we might snag the crap out of shit so yeah, I don't know. At least we got shade, we got a train bridge. But at least there's plenty of shade, so that's a plus. Hey, 
And if our bait don't work, we only brought one pole. There's tons of grasshoppers. So, let's see what we can make happen. Ooh, and there's a bunch of frogs. And there are some big old, they're maybe they're not that big, but some of these hoof prints from deer look kind of big. Whatever, so we know something comes through here. Looks like it's been a while, but. Cool beans, let's grab our crap. Um, I'm not gonna unpack anything really, cause we're just gonna play this out. I got some corn too, like I said, I think I said. I'm gonna throw it in here and kind of chum the water, cause it seems like it's kind of stagnant right here. Maybe we got a nice little pool. Maybe we're sitting on a hidden gem. I don't know, but yeah, enough yammering. <sighs> Try some hammering. I brought my good old pole from Scott that made it for us uh, over at Whitetail Customs, Custom Rods. I always think of like Whitetail Customs kind of reminds me of like West Coast Choppers kind of. <laughs> I mix those up sometimes, but anyway. This is that bad boy right here in memory of my Uncle Fred. Um, it's pretty sweet. I'll put the link to uh, his Facebook page in the description below. He kind of looked out. This pocket has a hole in the bottom. And strapped the pole on right here. And it didn't rub against the tire too much, I don't think. Luckily, because of that. So, still got some string here. Also, I brought the world's largest tackle box. I just brought a few extra hooks because we got a really heavy duty braided line on here and a leader. So, we should be all right. Um, not much for weight. We do have this little ounce and a half on there, but it should be just fine. We don't have super heavy flow current. Shouldn't have a problem sticking anything to the bottom. So I'm going to get some corn out, um, get this baited with some liver too, and uh, chuck it. I got a little chair. We're there. Don't know what we're doing. I never have anything scripted and everything's ever planned. I have an idea in my head and then just get out and wing it. Most of you know that. If you're new here, consider subscribing. You'll probably regret it later. But yeah, let's do this. Get this frick out. Get the can of corn cracked open. This is not the greatest spot, but as most of you know, this immediate area is not the greatest spot to camp. It's still city noise and we do not have vast woods or anything like that. And also it's really windy through here and you can hear the interstate pretty terribly. So, but who knows, maybe the fishing will be good. I think that's how we're gonna judge it. And not really anything flat over here, but whatever. Chum it, chum it. I'll try to save some for us. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the corn goes a long way, doesn't it? Got the drone back there screaming at us. One more. Hiya! There should be plenty left. Here she is in all her glory. What a beautiful rod. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I'm Jimmy White. No, I'm not. <laughs> that little booger. He's gonna jump right on it. Oh, I thought he was gonna jump right onto the screen. Not today. I bet all these nooks and crannies. I bet you there's a lot of big old spiders in here. <laughs> Run! All right. Like I said, I got some chicken liver. I should probably pour some of this into the water. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, maybe not. I don't even know the best way to do this. And I heard if, one thing I did hear though, is if you pull it apart, it's probably gonna make it not wanna stick so great. I don't know. I know it's like freaking putting Play-Doh on a string, so it's tough. I'm casting it out, hopefully stays on there. I'm gonna have to try to get next to this water at some point because it'd be nice to rinse me digits off. 
Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, I just tried to go down by the water and almost slid in, so that was a bad idea. Right in the middle, nothing crazy. It's already on the bottom, so there's that. Cool thing is all these cracks in the ground. Uh, we can see it up. Perfect. See what happens. I think there might be a bunch of little fish. Those are definitely nibbles. One thing about that, that about that chicken liver too, it's kind of easy to take it off. They're definitely mauling it, but it's got to be able to swallow it and take off with it. There's probably some little ones tinkering with it. But hey, there's. I mean, there's definitely stuff tinkering with it. If I yank on it, then uh, I'm afraid the uh, chicken liver is just going to fall off. So I need to wait for something just to go pew, take off with it. But we'll see. Uh, and just like that, the bait is gone. again I have a feeling it's just gonna keep snagging it I think it's just too easy for them little catfish or something just to rip it right off even holding it it's just the tiniest of little of bumps but this rod being so sensitive at the tip it just kind of looks like bigger bites so it's just gonna be a bunch of little things tearing this thing up. Be constantly baiting this thing with dirty, dirty digits, and I can't even wash my hands off in the water. Biscuits. What do you guys reckon that one is? Coyote. I do have my little camping chair, but if I bring it down here, it's so freaking windy under here. I feel like it's just gonna end up in the creek. And this ain't very flat, but yeah. Be nice to sit and watch these feed these fish for free. Ta da! Kite. Well, I'm gonna save you guys the million freaking bait and cast thing. Swapping back and forth from corn to chicken liver. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see what happens. I said they're wet, rather windy freaking tunnel here. So, uh, I don't know. I'll bring you back if something happens. If not, that's fishing and not catching, right? I think some of you guys tell me that just to try to make me feel better, but it sucks. But, yeah, we're going to do that. I mean, there's nothing going on. Just sitting here chilling. The highway noise kind of sucks. But you never know till you go. We've never been here. Worth a shot coming to try it. You're never going to learn if you don't try and you never know till you go. So, we'll see. I think the only thing messing with it is just tiny little fish. Story of my life. We are out here in the middle of the day though, so usually the best of luck with catfish I've always seen happens at night. I think. Most I've seen around here river fishing and stuff anyway, but Yep, poor me. We got a train down yonder. Nothing's going on. They do not even want the corn. As soon as I throw the freaking uh, chicken liver in there, it gets nailed quickly and it's ripped off. So, yeah. Good times. Let me tell you, super exciting. Peachy. Well, brought a little snack along. It's 
called Applewood Barbecue Mushroom Jerky. This is a treat from Galpo. She recently went up to South Dakota or something like that. And brought this back. It's made in Portland, Oregon. Touch it with dirty chicken liver fingers. So there's that. Smells good. Mushroom jerky. Never tried it. That ain't too freaking bad. <laughs> Almost tastes like kind of like regular jerky. A little bit. That ain't too shabby. Mushroom jerky, huh? Made with shiitake mushrooms. No meat, no soy, just shrooms. Interesting. Let's see if we go to the moon. About to see Elon freaking rolling in a train here, the cyber truck train. Interesting. What the? Also, I do have some beef sticks. Never tried these ones either. These are from a local, well, in Iowa, called Garrett Land and Cattle. I'll try those after that. This is freaking interesting, though. Hmm. Anyway, ain't gonna be much. I think we might, uh, we got out here way too early. I feel like just not popping. Whatever. It's the way a cookie crumbles sometimes. You try, you live, you learn. You cry, you crash and burn. <laughs> then you find yourself underneath a bridge eating mushrooms with a guy named Jim. Jim, where'd he come from? No. That's good. Crazy. There's that. Let's do the old Garrett Landing Cattle beef sticky. Yeah, whatever. It's called black and blue snack sticks. Black pepper and blue cheese. It's definitely an interesting flavor. Don't know if these are old or not. It's got a little white residue all over the side of it. But no, don't want to lose me bag. What a way to spend the afternoon. Whatever. Hopefully, we get some nature in our lives soon. This ain't much, but it's hard to leave it. It's hard to get in the right mental state sometimes to even get out and do anything anymore after you you try and try and try and expect a different outcome and it's always the same result isn't that like the definition of insanity yeah guy going down there on a freaking motorcycle beachy maybe he thought he was going to come fish here i didn't see him so i turned you guys on well, I don't know what the heck this is. I didn't know what the heck this was going to be. Um, I did bring camping gear just in case I planned on camping here. But it's just so noisy. I mean, there is a bike trail over here. There's a housing community over here. And there's always noise every time any of my camp videos. But I don't know. This just isn't pleasant at all. Basically, just like a get out e bike ride, get some nature, try to clear your head therapy session. Sometimes you got to get out and try to clear your head. Well, yeah, for whatever this is, fish ain't biting. I'm mentally fighting. Another day, another dollar that we don't get. Anyway, I'm just going to pack up crap. We're gonna be feet out of here. It just doesn't feel right. Can't find, seem to find peace here, so. Yeah, there's that. But get out, give it a shot, guys. Never give up. 
try to smile. Make every day great exploring. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye. All right, well, I just seen two big fish come by here. But I think they're carp. All that corn probably drifting down, dragging them in, but I don't know if I'll be able to see them. And this had the uh, chicken liver on it, so I highly doubt anything's there. But there is some big old carp coming in here. Whatever. Go figure. Have a good day, guys. I am met by a turkey gang. And that was pretty cool. You know, sometimes that's all you need. You get out, you try, and if it doesn't work out, sometimes it's okay to pull the plug on things. You just you gotta get a feel for the situation. Anyway, get out there, keep trying. Try not to keep crying. No, I'm just kidding. We'll be all right. Every day's a new day, guys, for adventure. Hear ye, hear ye, boys. Onward, Pippi Pants.